So you want to undervolt your Ryzen 9 5950X, the 16 core 32 threaded best 5000 series CPU from AMD. Well, this is the right video for you. And don't get fooled by the PC we are doing it in, okay? It might not have RGB, but this thing is a beast. We have 64 gigabytes of RAM and a 3090 in there. So I say, without further ado, if we want to reduce your temperature, improve your FPS, improve your productivity performance, and lower your power consumption all at the same time, let's go into the BIOS and let's get started. And here we are into the BIOS. Now, this tutorial will work for every motherboard out there but the motherboard we have right now is an asus rog cross rate hero wi-fi from asus so the bios will be the asus bios and the settings will have slightly different names now let's get started so you want to go in the advanced mode first of all and now go into extreme tweaker now depending on your motherboard this might have a different name it might be called ai tweaker overclocking tweaker tuning or anything similar okay so let's go in there and now first thing we want to do is enable our DOCP which is basically our XMP which is our RAM overclocking so once we have done that we want to go down until we find something that's called CPU core ratio and now we're gonna do two different profiles the static profile first and then the dynamic profile later on if you stay until the end i will also show you what every profile is aimed towards so put 40 here now go all the way down until you find cpu core voltage put manual here and put 1.025 at this point you can hit f10 save close this thing and go away however if you want to stay i have much more for you however please subscribe to the channel now what this is doing is we are setting your CPU to run at 4 GHz at 1.025 volt all the time. So this is actually going to slightly reduce your single threaded performance. However, it's going to greatly improve your multi-threaded score because usually this CPU, 16 cores, draws down of power. You cannot sustain the full turbo boost at long term. However, if you have a very good cooler, like a 360 mm water cooler, you can push this thing. So the higher this number, the better the performance. For example, you might want to put 42 here and you might want to go down because the issue is the higher this number, the higher this number needs to be to make this stable. So you need to test this. So for example, for 42, I know that 1.15 will be stable for most of you guys, but you can try this one out for yourself. Or if you feel a bit crazy and you have a really good cooler, put 44 and you will need 1.2 volts for 44 okay so this is it for the static voltage you can basically tune it up and down depending on what performance you want so this would be the more performance oriented preset whereas the 40 would be the more efficiency oriented setup right now in case you want to just keep the cpu to turbo boost like it does at stock going up and down up and down all the time no problem we can do that so we go here we put this one back on auto no need to change it okay and here on our v core again put it back on auto and change it to offset mode now offset sign minus and you want to put here 0.05 so what this will do is your cpu will run at a negative offset of 0.05 the whole time so it's gonna run cooler and quieter and just run better without changing the core clock and stuff. So this is much easier. Now, if you wanna test this out and you have time and you're willing to leave the PC to test out for a while, the higher this number, the better. So for example, if you manage to put 0.075, it would be even better, but most CPUs will not be able to run this thing. So guys, if this was helpful and if you watched this far, please drop a like and a sub. I have many more videos on the channel, builds, tutorial. You might like it. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.